By 295 million years ago, in the early Permian, synapsids had already taken control of most terrestrial ecosystems. But this dominance wasn't static, it evolved. The early synapsids of this time are often called pelicosaurs, though the term is informal. They include a variety of forms, some sharp-jawed carnivores like Dimetrodon, others sail-backed herbivores like Edaphosaurus, and the barrel-bodied caseids, among the largest plant-eaters of their time. These animals walked with sprawling limbs, had relatively simple jaw structures, and showed limited signs of internal temperature regulation. But under evolutionary pressure, some synapsids began changing, structurally, physiologically, and behaviorally. By the Middle Permian, around 270 million years ago, a more advanced group appeared, the therapsids. Therapsids differed from earlier synapsids in key ways. Their limbs shifted beneath the body, improving locomotion and energy efficiency. Their jaws became more complex, allowing for stronger, more controlled biting. And their teeth began to differentiate in sizes, canines, and post-canines enabling better food processing. Fossil evidence from South Africa and Russia reveals another important trait, changes in nasal structures that suggest early thermoregulation, possibly even the beginning of warm-bloodedness. Therapsids rapidly diversified. The dinocephalians became large-bodied omnivores and herbivores with thick skulls, possibly used for headbutting behavior. The gorgonoptians, by contrast, were agile predators with long saber-like canine teeth and improved brain-to-body ratios, hints of increasing neurological complexity. In 2023, a team studying fossilized gorgonoption limb bones found microscopic evidence of vascularized bone tissue suggesting active growth rates and elevated metabolism, traits heading toward the mammalian condition. But these were still transitional creatures. Not mammals yet. Not even close. But on a new branch, a branch that would soon lead to even more mammal-like forms, this evolutionary leap from pelicosaurs to therapsids wasn't a single mutation or moment. It was a gradual shift, preserved in bones, teeth, and anatomy, step by step, adaptation by adaptation.